Jones recap. We're making our way down one more time to Coppell, Texas. I've got to give you the address because you'll know the name of this MMA center whenever I give you the address. It's at 989 West Sandy Lake Road. None other than Molar's MMA here. I've got none other than a warrior right here. Who is this man? I'm going to let him introduce himself because I've introduced him too, too many times. Go ahead and mention who you are, bad boy. Uh, J.J. Holmes, one and only. <laughs> i tell you what, J.J., the only reason I said that because I've said your name so many times. The reason why we're down here right now, I've got to tell you, that we have a fight that is brewing on June the 18th in Amarillo, and J.J. Holmes is going to be one of the featured attractions. Let's go and get down to the five fan information that we're talking about. J.J. Holmes right now at 2-0. This young man, he knows no defeat. J.J., tell me something about the man that you're going to be crawling in the cage with in Amarillo. Uh, the guy that I'm fighting, his name is uh, Joseph Lawson. Uh, he's 2-1 uh, and one as a pro, and he's a two-time uh, junior college national wrestling champ. So he's going to be pretty tough, and probably my toughest fight yet. So, yeah. Well, you know, JJ, he is out of Florida. He's out of the American Top Team Club out there. Do you know anything about the team? Do you know anything about the, the, the coaching? Anything, any background? Yes, uh, they, have, they, they, they bring a good team. I mean, they're one of the well-known, uh, notorious teams in uh, MMA right now. You know, you got top American top team. You got uh, Greg Jackson's camp. You got Contour. I mean, those are just one of the names that you recognize, like, as far as franchise names in MMA. Uh -huh. so. Oh, yeah. Well, see, you know, what, when I start talking about a man's background, it's important because what they bring to the cage also resides in the corner. You Now let's talk about your corner, baby. I know Alan Moeller. Tell me a little bit about him. Oh uh, man, he's a, um, I don't know how many degree black belt he is, but he's probably one of the best in, uh, in the country as far as coaches, you know. He uh, definitely um, uh, elevates my game, and that, that's why I'm here at oh. Mixed Martial Arts. Okay, so. let's, get, let's get down to what you're doing, what you have done to prepare for this fight here. Anything secretive, anything that you want to share with the fight fans, you're going to keep it to yourself, strategy, anything like that? Um, well, I keep most of it to myself, but really, uh, strategy is, you know, is a... Uh, kind of wear them out first round, you know, uh, feel them out first round and go from there. Uh, probably won't strike too much, but I want to get on the ground. That's where I'm comfortable at. That's well, where he's probably most comfortable is at, but I'm sure he's not going to be too comfortable on his back. And um, that's where I want to keep it at on his back. Maybe some ground and pound, maybe a submission in there, who knows. Well, don't forget, fight fans, we have two national champions, wrestling champions coming to know each other, up close and personal. Don't forget what JJ just said he is a two-time. This young man by the name of, I want to get his name right, Joseph Watson, he's a two-time wrestling national champion. How many national champions do you have under your belt, JJ? Just one. Okay. So I need. That's all you need is one. But I know your striking game has come a long ways. I know you said you want to take it to the ground if that's where you're both going to feel comfortable, but there is no shame in your game in the striking department. Is that correct? That is correct. So if he wants to keep it standing, we, uh, we keep it standing. But. Uh, you know, I'm a fighter, so I'll fight uh, on our feet, on the ground, you know, an alley, it doesn't matter. So, let's <laughs> fight. You know? I, love, I love what the man says. I'm going to go and go over some of these notes with you. Amarillo, Texas. This is going to be June the 18th. It's going to be by Undisputed MMA. They're going to be promoting this fight. It's going to be at Gamboa's Outdoor Event Center. So you fight fans who want to make it up there and are in for one heck of a night with JJ on the card. And there's going to be another area. There's going to be a lot of other area fighters. Tell me some of the fighters' names that are going to be on there, JJ. Uh, Douglas Frey is going to be there. Uh, Jason Sampson, they're both my teammates. Um, uh, a few other guys. Uh, Spencer. Villarilla. Sean Spencer. Sean Spencer, Villarilla. And uh, that's all I know right now. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's a good summary, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna wrap this up with JJ. I'm gonna let him give a couple of shout outs. Uh, let me give a shout out to um, Yums, uh, Paps Blue Rhythm, uh, uh, Harley Davidson, Trips Harley Davidson, Trips Harley Davidson, uh, a couple other people, Kyle Couch, um, Joe Brunson, uh, just you know my teammates in general, Team Takedown, uh, and. You know, that, that's it. My friends and family, and that's how I want to do it. So, okay, I want to say one last thing as I bring this to closure. It is going to be one heck of a night. It's going to be a moving night, and I'm going to tell you what the humbleness in this man is. 
185ers, 85ers, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a name right here. You want a piece of this man right here? Why don't you go ahead and call Chris Freeman up. He's at 682-554-9178. He's willing to take any calls, field any calls. If you're interested in getting a piece of this man, getting some action in the cage, maybe taking a couple of shots from him, I guarantee you J.J. is no stranger to that type of confrontation. Also, yo, J.J., how could I forget this? July 23rd. What's happening July 23rd? Uh, XKO. Uh, I forget what number it is, but I'll be fighting. 11. Uh, uh, I'll be fighting um, uh, Jacob Brennan from uh, Fort Worth. I think he's a Fort Worth police officer. He's supposed to be pretty tough. So. Hey, police officer, firefighter, it doesn't matter. Bring them one, bring all. Well, go ahead and take them down, right, JJ? Absolutely. Okay, as I close this up, I know I keep on trying to close this up. I sit back and I think about July 23rd. This man is stacking his fight time. He is here for one reason, and that is to what? Kick butt, baby! On behalf of www.North Texas Fisticuffs, that was four W's, baby. Did you catch that? That was four W's. Because we're here for one thing. The W's for him. Win! That's what we put the extra W in. Catch us next time. Rolling Gum is the force of North Texas Combative Sports. Until next time.